Hey guys, kombucha cheers. Mmm, I love kombucha. So in my last video I talked about some rumors that were going around that I started to smoke cigarettes again. Many of you guys asked me to make the video of how to stop smoking cigarettes and today that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So a little bit about my history smoking cigarettes. I started to smoke cigarettes when I was 17 years old. I started at my last year in high school. And I used to do it because I thought it was cool. It was like a rebel thing to do. I would do it with my friends. And then in college, I lived in Paris, France, a city where so many people smoke. It's seen as something normal. I feel like it's part of the culture and it's also like something cool. So it really became more of a habit. Like literally my breakfast would be a cup of coffee with a cigarette. After breakfast, smoke a cigarette. Before lunch, smoke a cigarette. After lunch, smoke a cigarette. Before dinner, smoke a cigarette. After dinner, smoke a cigarette. Drink a glass of wine, smoke a cigarette. Like everything revolved around smoking a cigarette. So then I got back to the US and I would still smoke the same. Here in California, it seemed like if you're just smoking cigarettes, you're just like not cool. Then I lived in Mexico City and I began to really feel gross after smoking cigarettes, especially like the day before after partying really hard just like the mix of alcohol with cigarettes was just not good so I was looking for like healthier forms of cigarettes or like I was using electronic cigarettes and it wasn't until 2013 where I was having a plastic surgery done and the doctor was like hey you can't smoke cigarettes because it can affect like the healing process thankfully like after my surgery a few weeks after that, that's when I had my detox, found the raw vegan diet, the vegan diet, and I tried it and I started to feel amazing. So I think for me what it was is number one, detox completely, like not smoke cigarettes. Uh, number two is adopting a healthy lifestyle, healthy eating habits, like eating lots of raw fruits and vegetables, putting oxygen into my body. I'm a firm believer that if you wanna drop a bad habit, you have to substitute it with something healthy, like a healthy, outlet and I think exercise is like a great outlet for people who are trying to smoke cigarettes because it gives you endorphins the adrenaline the bad thing about the cigarette is that it harms your body and it only lasts a few minutes and then you become addicted to it because you want to feel more of it whereas exercise yes you have to do more exercise in order to feel more endorphins and feel more adrenaline but it's something healthy like it's something that we were designed to do <laughs> number four is healing emotionally and so many times we have like feelings and emotions that we're not letting out and so we're smoking cigarettes because we're just feeling so much, so much anxiety like that's what would happen to me one more thing is to not feel discouraged if you fall off the wagon and always think positively and think that you can do it I believe that it's so important for us to take care of our temple of our body to treat it right because we want our physical body to be in harmony in a healthy way with our mind and our heart and when all of those things are healthy and they're in balance that's when we can achieve our highest self that's when we become the best versions of ourselves. and i believe that that's why we're here on earth we're here on earth to become the best versions of ourselves to learn to grow to serve to give and how can we expect to do that if we keep feeding our bodies junk we can't do that it's a lifestyle it's body, mind, and spirit. And the last thing that I wanna say is to just take it one day at a time. Take it one week at a time, one month at a time, make a commitment with yourself, make goals with yourself, and once you achieve them, then you can do more. <laughs>